I noticed today this weird thing happens when I shoot shorts. Totally subconscious. When I start doing the accent for a character. <laughs> I'm always scratching my nuts at the same time. <laughs> I'm not quiet. <laughs> What's up with that? I have no recollection of doing that. It's disgusting. When you do business, no one can tell you what to do. It's your own little world and you can invent it, whatever it is. Luckily, our team is crazy enough to like draw this stuff. I don't know if they find it funny or if they're like, well, Henry and Dylan pay us. So I guess we're going to draw a <laughs> over the room. But like, I never thought about that. It's like, yeah. oh, just clocking into work today. And uh, Henry said we got to draw a all over the room. <laughs> Welcome to the Smart Nonsense Podcast, where we talk about smart nonsense. Out of way. Uh, fuck, oh, no. Dude. Oh, right. <laughs> right down. Not even well, a breath, really. Just an immediate. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like my commitment to that intro. Uh, oh, and immediately oh, regretted it, and then immediately thought about our old intros, where it's like, ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. yeah. Um, and you didn't clap. You didn't clap for me, so that was a bummer. But um, no, my bad. Uh, it's because I got a cold. Thanks, I got a cold dude. brain. I've spent all afternoon trying to go to the DMV. Right when I got all of my documents together, and I got to the DMV, I was at the wrong one. Yes, and it was. Well, I literally couldn't go to the other one. It was fifty minutes away. And you have to make an appointment 50? these days. Five zero. I was on How? two different parts of town, and you have to make an appointment. Dude. I was just, dude, peanut brain. I got, I got this stupid cold. I wasn't thinking straight. I went to the wrong one. Muscle memory. Well, uh, here I don't want to rub New York in your face, but dude, I, I just ripped up like ten blocks and got my license just like that. It was real ID. It was a cakewalk. Uh, it's even enhanced. Enhanced yeah. real ID, dude. I, oh, I think traveling. I can go on a, a space shuttle, dude. They'll Maybe. let me on anything. Um, Put you on. No, the that's cool, dude. Con. I'm glad you're wasting your time. I'm glad you're sick uh, and still show up for the pod. That shows commitment. Uh, <laughs> what do I want to talk about, dude? Um, one, really, all I want to talk about because yesterday was business pod. Yeah, and <laughs> you know, it was you know. <sighs> <laughs> you get to the end of it and you're like, wow, that was really boring as fuck. I'll get out. It's exactly um, what I was thinking. And we haven't you know, talked about this. I know. It's kind of been an <laughs> elephant in the rhinovirus room. Dude, why would I? In my head, I'm like, why did I just say those words, dude? What the fuck? There's the clapping. Um, yeah. So we didn't talk about boring that. Boring as fuck. I'll get out. <laughs> business podcast i yeah i don't know that's where why, we get more to see well it, that's why it's a love hate it, because the problem it's kind of like in uh college and like other like uh professional services when when you start like getting into the groove of it you just get into the jargon mm. same thing with business when we start talking about like cac cac Ugh. and stuff like that not the right just, kind of cac either no no uh it's just you know, I don't know. It's a love hate. It's a love hate. It's good to get them out uh, in the world, and then well, immediately hate hate having done it. I, I think I think I like it. It just needs a more sprinkled dirt throughout. It's okay. got to be like a hey, thirty five percent referrals, and then it's like fucking <coughs> wham bam rhinovirus. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude, here's what I want to talk about. All right, yeah. we'll see if the tea stays up. We we don't know. Um, I want to talk about <laughs> black lights. Okay. I. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. All right. Yesterday was the business podcast. I've been really focused on the business. I think you have too, but you're better at multitasking. Uh, so I have left you largely unchecked in the realm of smart nonsense. Yes. Now, uh, what's. What was good at the start is like I could give a little pushback. Like I'd see something like, hey, Belky, this might be going over the line. <laughs> and let's let's dial it back in. I think we had a lot of graphics with like things fucking and we're like, hey, let's like not, not have them fucking all the time. But I've been gone, dude. I've been absent. Uh, it's It could be neglect. And what's happened is basically I get into uh, – what do they call that? It's, it's like um, – 
oh, fuck. It's like crude, like naked people. Ah, oh, there's a term for it. Primal uh, or uh, carnal? Uh, no, not not lust. Oh, f- it's gonna bug me now. Come on, give us the roundabout. My bad, dude. But say. it's turned into just uh uh. Oh, I, the word was almost there. Dude. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Belky's got come all over this black light short right from the short email right from the start. Um, but what I want to talk about is how business when you when you do. Oh, my God, dude, I suck at podcasting when you do business. No one can tell you what to do. Yeah, it's your own little world and you can invent it, whatever it is uh, we Luckily, our team is crazy enough to like draw this stuff. I don't know if they find it funny or if they're like, well, Henry and Dylan pay us. So I guess we're going to draw a fucking come all over the room. But like, I never thought about that. It's like, yeah. oh, just clocking into work today. And right, uh, right. Henry said we got to draw come all over the room. Again. <laughs> but so, huh. I don't even think I think you just plop words on the page, get to the end of it. And like, that was probably good. Ship it out, dude. That's the difference between you and I. You said maybe uh you said maybe i'm good at multitasking i'm just good at shipping okay yeah like you you'll spend all day on a newsletter you'll you'll edit you'll edit as you write you're mm. you're you're like shifting around sentences and all kinds of things as you write i don't, I don't do i don't do any of that i write mm. from point a to point z and when i get to the bottom so long as there weren't any like blanks i need to fill in or words i mm. missed She's out the door. Sometimes I'll reread it. Sometimes. Right. Right. There was a, See, I think, uh, who was it? There's an author that's like that. I think it, I want to say Stephen King, but it, I don't think it's Stephen King. Oh, I was listening to a podcast. This is going to bother me, dude. Mm. Some author where like uh, their their rough draft is usually the final. Uh. You probably listened to it too. Well, I remember Morgan Housel talking oh. about how. Well, I, I think it was Morgan Housel. I think he would just write it once yeah, and then it was. put it out there. Yeah, it was Morgan Housel. Was yeah. Fuck, dude. That's what happens when you only listen to the same stuff. Echo chambers, <laughs> dude. Uh, yeah, well, you didn't help me with the whatever the slapstick uh, porn thing was. Uh, fuck what? Well, I, one day. Um, oh. Come on, what else you got? What's Sorry, going dude. on, really? I just thought life. we're shooting a <laughs> podcast. Um, no, well, my my global point is like entrepreneurship's hard, but like the the silver lining, the the bright side. Actually, two two. Let me say two things. Uh, one is you can do whatever the fuck you want. It is literally like the Derek server is anything you want, even if it's black light, crude shorts, uh, or emails. Um, so that's awesome. The other thing is like, we have total control of our income. So it's like, we want to make an extra hundred grand this month. It's doable. It's actually like a thing that can happen. We're, we're trying it. It's actively like taking a lot longer than a month. It's like more like two or three months, but like it is like, we are basically like all we had was this you said this this morning. It was like an application for writers. We're looking for a writer for that email so that you wouldn't be writing these crazy black light things. We don't get a writer, not a single good one. But what we do get is like a thousand other editor and animator applications. We end up hiring like five different animators and we have this long list of editors that we're now selling and we're probably going to make $100,000 off of the scraps for something we weren't even hiring for. Which is like just absurd. And that's like $100,000 of Pretty much pure profit. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't want to jinx anything because we're like halfway. That's right. But like, I'm envisioning the the fast forward one month when we're broke again right. because it didn't work out and everyone refunded. <laughs> um. Yeah, that is sick. You. Uh, I see what you're trying to do there, bringing us into the business realm. Uh, <laughs> here's something that's interesting. Uh, we'll roll the B-roll because this is the goofy goof. You've made it this far in this podcast. I noticed today, this weird thing happens when I shoot shorts, totally subconscious. When I start doing the accent for a character, uh, I'm not like shooting to camera or anything. I'm just kind of like focused on getting the accent. I'm always scratching my nuts at the same time. Oh, I do that a lot. What's up with that? I was, I like, was I, actually. I have no recollection of doing that. It's disgusting. I'm going to, we're going to well, roll the B-roll. 
might have to censor it. It's, so it's disgusting. I'm, and then you and roll I, the B-roll. Well, and I'm like, man, man, our editors. I'm, that's really what I'm giving our editors. Totally there, had no clue I did it. Yeah. Um, I frequently, like, I was watching last night on my couch, Mark Wahlberg. He was getting into an ice plunge. <laughs> Uh, and he was shirtless and stuff, and it was looking good. And like right before he gets in, he just grabs his full sack, just just like what you're talking about. Um, and there's like a bunch of comments of like these old ladies, like "Oh my god!" And but like as I was watching that reel, I just look and I just have my hand down my pants. Huh? <laughs> like I think it's just like I don't know. So I, it's like a dude huh. thing, maybe. Like girls don't like grab themselves. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, it's well, like that, very. That's a crazy though. thing. That's the crazy thing is I didn't think I ever did, but it's the second time I don't even go and watch my clips back. But the second time I went and watched a clip back, I did it. So I was like, if I don't watch my clips back, but I did twice and I did it twice, I must be doing Dude. it every single time. Well, that's the thing. You know, our whole team just has archives of all our embarrassing outtakes that we probably don't know most of them. I, I've I've said this before, <laughs> but I swear so. I, I haven't shot a short in literally six months, but like when I used to, uh, some might call me retired actually at this point because uh, you round yeah, up. Yeah, that's that's happy um, here. I I would actually because Belky. Here's the thing: we would get kind of competitive, or I would. I'd be like, Belky shoots these shits in like a minute and a half for a minute short. Like I got to get down. I go shoot it and be eleven <laughs> minutes, and like literally eight minutes is just me like fucking. St- Get it, get it right. Get the like. I just the same perfectionist <laughs> where I can't ship a, a newsletter. I can't yeah, ship like, a, a sentence on screen. What what is it? Are you are you fumbling words or did you not like the intonation for the line? No, it's it's literally like I make things up in my head that don't exist. Like, I'm I'm not even like we're animating over me, so it doesn't matter. I'm just like I think I could have done that a little bit better. Maybe I didn't <laughs> make eye contact with the camera or like I. I kind of like, I didn't like my intonation at the end. Uh, very stupid stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I guess we all got ticks. I didn't realize to watching our Greg Eisenberg podcast that I really trail off at the end of a statement. I'm like, I'm like, like, here's me. an idea. Scratching my nuts. It's a yeah, I, I do this a lot, like the nose thing. Oh, watch um, out for the nose thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. Um, <laughs> Dude, uh, I almost I almost don't want to shoot podcasts if we're just going to talk about the nose thing, dude. My bad. I didn't mean to talk about the nose thing, Pop. I went to a Blackhawks game yesterday. Uh, hey, here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say about that. I understand why you like hockey so much. That is a fantastic oh, yeah? sport. Yes. It's constant. Everyone's always sprinting. Uh, yeah. It's physical. You can get kind of cute with the puck. That's fun. It's yeah. just the power plays are so exciting, right? You got like mm. a five on four going on. Pulling the oh. goalie, also very exciting. Six on five. Dude, you can if, like if you feel. had a three on three in the overtimes, that would have been nice. That's my favorite part, actually. Three on three. Three on three. That's straight death. up pond hockey. Uh, yeah. 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 That's it's well, so yesterday, and I don't I don't mean to like toot my own horn here, but um <laughs> my soccer team won the championship. <laughs> and um your, you. your co-ed intramural soccer team. Right. Um and I don't mean to like double toot my own horn here, but I was the second leading scorer <laughs> on the team. And I've never played soccer before. What'd you get? Two and, goals? No, I actually don't. I think that stats might actually be accurate. But uh, no, oh, I probably had for like, the whole season? Uh, for the whole season. Yeah. No, I saw you play. There's no way. <laughs> no, that was my worst game, actually. Oh. To, I, Pop compared me to Messi yesterday. I had a sick goal. I just came fucking running through the middle and cowabunga <laughs> it right in the champion <laughs> in the final game. Um, but like <laughs> soccer, dude, it's... It pisses me off, all right? I, I don't know if I've talked about this before. But okay, yeah, so normal out. soccer, you get like three subs a game and it's 90 minutes. So it's basically like people just like walking around the field 
for most of it. And then they'll like sprint if the ball comes close to them. Hockey, it's like, hey, you're going to skate for 40 seconds a shift and go fucking balls to the wall. So like you get 60 minutes of just balls to the wall, everybody, because you can change all the time. But soccer, oh, this league. One more thing. The clock like never stops in hockey. I love that. Compared to well, basketball. It, basketball oh, is like, Doo. relatively. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Soccer yeah. Sim. I, Ice and I, we went uh, like, last week it. to a Knicks game. And the yeah. fourth quarter, one, like the first three quarters don't matter. They're boring as, as fuck. Like, I actually hate basketball. It's not fun to watch at all. I was like, why are we here? Fourth quarter got kind of interesting, but like, it'd just be break after break after break. Kind of like a football vibe of like, eh. oh, I don't, I don't. And then the last uh, two minutes takes 45 minutes. Yeah. So just like. I don't know. They're not exciting to watch, but like hockey, you get hits and all this stuff. But basically, uh, coming from hockey, where it's like constant, you're just full hit workout, and then you go and play soccer, and it's like everyone's jogging. But but in our rec league, you get unlimited subs. <laughs> it's not like the thing where you get whatever three subs. However many subs you get in like a normal ninety minute game, it's like you get you can play it like hockey. Hockey, you get unlimited subs. <laughs> soccer, same thing. So I'm like, hey, soccer team. How about we do the hockey 40 second shifts? You go balls to the wall, banshee, just go at people like crazy. And then, like, if you're tired, <laughs> hop off because we got a couple people ready to go. And it's just like constant. But I bet then no I get one's, flack. Yeah, no one's ever suggested that on a hockey right. team. Oh, like, who, on a soccer team. Soccer team. Like, who the fuck's this guy? I know. And, but I think it's like you come in with a blank slate and you're like, hey, you guys didn't adjust to the rules. You're using your old. Uh, frameworks to to apply it to this. Well, it takes so long. It takes so long to get off the soccer field on a big no, field. No, but we're Yours, playing. Yeah, it's like you got seven a little on itty seven, bitty not that big. Yeah, kids field. The, yeah, yeah, tiny <laughs> children's. Uh, so yeah, I'm like, guys, can can we do this? But no one listened to me. But now I might have some sway because you know I scored a lot of goals this season. Um, and you know why? The team actually loves me because I I still like I don't care what everyone else does. I'm gonna go really hard for like five minutes like i'll push it but i'm still faster than other people so i'll just like run at people i, I cause like the reason why i scored was just i fucking attack i attack and i attack and they, they don't know they've never seen someone run so hard at somebody they're like because you're, you're used to like trying to conserve energy um so i just cause a lot of turnovers and everyone loves my presses so yeah. uh dude this how many a, horn toots was that, that was with six seven or eight maybe uh same thing though i played soccer for one year and because i had zero skills the only thing I could be was fast. Yeah. It's just brute force. I'm just fast guy. You know, I'm, I'm where you want me when you want me there. Sometimes even I, before. It's actually crazy though. Like you can brute force the game. Yeah. It's like run and kick. If you can yeah. do those two things, you're fine. Because um, it's a so slow, lazy sport otherwise. It's it's kind of to my point. I think I made on a, maybe two podcasts ago of like people just don't know what they're missing. You play the game of hockey. Hockey's also easy on the body. Like, it looks hard with all the checking and stuff. But, like, it's kind of like it flows versus, like, basketball or, or like, soccer. You kind of have to, like, stop on a dime or football and, like, your knees just get fucked. Like, I couldn't walk after I practiced really hard with our friend Ice. Uh, but hockey, you're just always gliding and, like, curving and turning. And yeah, till you're not. Nice. I saw a video from the 90s the other, the other weekend. It's goalie. Uh, I forget on what team. Got his neck sliced clean by a skate, squirting blood everywhere. Did uh, you see the guy that died a month ago? Well, that's why I was kind of looking at it. No, I didn't oh. see that. But my friends were telling me about this inc similar instance in the 90s oh. when this goalie got yapped. But um, there was a medic nearby and they stopped the bleeding. But dude, instant puddle. Instant puddle oh. of blood on the ice. No, th this guy borderline got decapitated on. Oh, we can't have that pop. Oh, and with that, Carlos. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! I almost had the word. 